your enemies are now your homies. There's no more set tripping. It's like, and there was this dude that I jumped. Like, I didn't jump him. This fool walked up to my cousin and was like, I'm going to fucking kill you, bitch. And he didn't know she, she had five dudes outside. So we went in there, Joey. We were, It was at 7-Eleven. It was an orange off of Maine. <sighs> right, right off of Maine and uh, La Vida. After a Mary Jane Girls concert. And these fools were from, uh, I won't say where they're from, but they're from Santana. And uh, <laughs> dog, we beat the shit out of these fools. Like, I threw that fool by the slurping machine, stomped on him and shit. And, and it was crazy because, <laughs> like, back at this time, Lee, like, gangster movies was in. Boys in the Hood, fucking Colors, American Me, Boulevard Nights, Bound by Honor, Blood In, Blood Out. I was, like, I wanted, I was, like, trying to reenact the scene I seen in there. <laughs> Are you allowed to go into 7-Elevens anymore? Yeah, but there was no cameras back then. Oh, okay. This is before that. Thank goodness. We threw one of those motherfuckers through the window, Lee. Oh, my God. What window? The front window. Oh, Jesus. We were some like, we were some crazy fools because I was from like a hood that was like, we were all the guys that got cut from the varsity team just because we didn't give a fuck. But we still had game. We were still with it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have game. Uh, it was just, it was in a different area. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so you know what I mean, Joey? Doug, I mean, you don't have to fucking break it down for me. <laughs> <laughs> I sit here some nights and I just fucking wake up in the middle of the night and I think of something. Dog, this shit tripped me right now. Like, I didn't know you kidnapped the motherfucking fool that was on bail. <laughs> that's crazy. He was out on bail. Damn, the other that's guy, a movie, dog. And the other guy was a biker, fake biker. Yeah, that's a movie. And, and he kidnapped him because he, he was dating a stripper that was divorced, trying to get divorced. So he moved the stripper into his mother's house. He moved out of the bedroom, moved her into the bedroom, and he slept on the couch. The mother slept in the other master bedroom. And I would go, Tidwell, are you fucking her? And he'd go, no, no, she's a Catholic girl. Meanwhile, she was a titty dancer. She danced nude. You know, she was making thousands a night. But she, but she was Catholic? She was fronting? So she told him, I'll fuck you. You're my man, but you have to pay for my divorce. Oh. You know how strippers work. Come on, they win it. That win like it. I thought about the deal real quick too. She was beautiful. Yeah. She was a Spanish girl that was beautiful. He was big, white, and dumb and stupid. He fell for the hook. And that all that's why he kidnapped this guy. He didn't even do it for him. He did it because he needed that money to pay for her divorce so she could be with him. Yeah. Because she yes. was Catholic. That's a. Hey, you don't understand what what Joey just said right now. I hear this every day, fucking this daily. Is a scam on a half. These bitches come up to me <clears throat> and give it to, me. and it's crazy, Lee, because the only motherfuckers that can scam strippers are hardcore gang members. This stripper was like, "Hey, man, my fool that I was with, he got locked up." She's like, "I already sent him a thousand dollars, George. I sent him two packages. I even sent packages to his homies that are in there." And I was like, "You're getting fucking played, home girl." I've been that dude. But she's like, but he fucks good, eh? I was just like, fuck. Every day. Like, this girl's like, yeah, man, I'm going to bone that fool for three months. And he said he's going to buy me tits and an ass. And what they do is that in TJ, the doctors in TJ, Joey, have stepped their fucking game up. Like, they came to San Diego and they got their degrees and said, you know what? I'm still a fucking citizen of TJ. I'm starting my shit over here. They do what? San Diego does and TJ, they do it for half. And Cash. Yeah, exactly. And you got to put the deposit in. She's like, you put, because she got her tits. She, she's taking the fat off her stomach and putting it in her ass. So it's like a better look. And then she's getting her tits all fixed up and shit. And I think it's only costing her four or five thousand dollars. That's all? That's all. So the guy smooth. He gave her twelve hundred. He's like, I'll give you. He's a, he's gonna give her twelve hundred in increments of those three months. That he's and he's like, I'm gonna fuck when I want to fuck, and that's it. But the girl's like, okay, yeah, yeah, that deal's in play. But you still gotta be my customer. You still gotta come in this bitch, tip me, give me my money because I still have to work. I can't just fuck you when you want. You know what I'm saying? So this fool comes into work. 
pays the fucker at work that we watch on the cameras, this bitch is getting fucked. Did you give him a discount or nothing? No, because they have to. The club always gets to. We have to know what you're making. Like, like say a half hour costs three hundred bucks, Lee. That's what it costs. Yeah, and you. <laughs> We're taking you, dog. So a half hour. No, three, so, oh dude, three hundred bucks to fuck. Oh, the fuck. Okay, I thought that was just, just you could a, eat their a lap ass. dance. You could eat everything. You could eat their ass. Anything. But that's still a lot. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. they'll piss on you, Lee. Anything. I don't want them. Yeah, yeah. yeah we gotta get Lee. How much? Executive you, package. How much do you have to give them to not piss on me? Yeah, <laughs> no, we'll just get you, you a whole package more. where they fuck you, suck you, <laughs> and then they pee on you. We'll give out. you a brownie. I don't want to know what that so, is. So, so Lee, like. The club has to get that three hundred, and they take a fifty out, and they give you two hundred and fifty back because you're paying for that space you're using. When you when you fuck at a strip club, you're paying to be like, all right, this is gonna be done quick. There's no hotel. There's nothing. It's just me going in somewhere. I'm fucking and I'm out. Okay. Do you get the full thirty minutes, or is it just like as well, soon as this is over, we're done? It matters how much that that's when the negotiation the girl goes well look i'll fuck you for 10 minutes in there but if you pay me more these fools don't get a cut of what i'm making now that you don't even have to tip none of that so like i heard i've been to clubs i ain't gonna lie like i don't fuck but i go to see the competition like to see what they're doing i always go to industry and i'm like wow research yeah, hey, these bitches are only charging four fifty to fuck for half an hour, and I'm talking twenty three year old to twenty eight year old only, and they're beautiful, and it's like, it's the fucking OG pimping brothel house to the finest, because you know, cholos run it. It's all sharp and shit. They got candles, everything's clean, it's sharp drapes, curtains. <laughs> How do you know that? Is it like the sham? <laughs> Think about it. You walk in somewhere and they got like old theater curtains and that shit. People are fucking. Those are sound barriers. We're going in like fucking Marines. You understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.